Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be swatching and trying on some of the newly released Bobbi Brown Luxe lipsticks. These have been reformulated. Now I picked these up in New Zealand about two or three weeks ago now. For some reason New Zealand got them before quite a few other countries. I think we were amongst the Asian Pacific release. And the place where I got them from, there were 28 shades available. Amongst these are some shades that are old favourites, but there's also a whole lot of new shades as well. Now these are also available in the USA, both at Nordstrom and Sephora. But from what I've seen on the websites, there doesn't appear to be the full 28 shades either at Nordstrom or Sephora so depending on which shades you like you will have to go between the two different websites. So I picked up nine of these lipsticks out of the 28 and I tried to get a selection ones that I would wear and also for my video so you could see the shade selection. So with these lipsticks, I already did an Instagram reel and I've already done swatches of them. So the beautiful bossing that's at the end of the lipstick bullet has now gone. And I did keep one of the boxes to show you as well. So this is what the box looks like that they come in. It's just the standard white and black, but it does have the beautiful gold symbol on there as well. Now these lipsticks are made in Italy and they have 3.5 grams of product. And these lipsticks are described as skincare infused statement lip color with a rich satin finish for lips that feel as luxe as they look, balanced with neutral tones that says our shades flatter all complexions. And then it goes on to say that Bobbi Brown's most luxurious satin formula swipes on effortlessly and hydrates for 10 hours with improved lip condition after just one week. An infusion of floral extracts and wax helps nourish lips in a creamy formula that resists fading, feathering and smudging. And the ingredient list is quite long on here, but there are a few different oils and there is also the jasmine flower wax as well. Now in here, they do mention that there is fragrance perfume I really can't detect any. If it is, it's very faint and certainly not overpowering at all. So here is the packaging of the lipsticks. It is really beautiful and fits with the name Lux Lipstick. So it is the gold and also the really lovely black stripe down the side with the Bobbi Brown logo and around the other side is a black diagonal strip as well. And one end is the description has the name of the shade and also the number and at the top where the cap is it has the emblem as well. Now these are just a pull off lid and they just clip shut and on the outside here is also the Bobbi Brown emblem as well. I'll just turn it around hopefully you'll be able to see that. Now as I was saying before when I got these lipsticks on the very tip of the bullet they did have that emblem as well and it was really beautiful but once you do one swipe with these lipsticks that embossing goes so that doesn't last. So this lipstick here this one is called Pink Nude and this is the one that I'm wearing at the moment. I've been wearing this shade all day. It's now afternoon and I just topped up the lipstick just before I went to record this. So these lipsticks, they don't last for hours and hours but what they do is they do leave a stain. I agree with what they say in that they feel very nourishing and they feel really comfortable on the lips and they have quite a high gloss to them. Now, when I put up a post on my community page today, someone asked me, it might have been this color here, did it have sparkle in it? From what I've swatched and seen, or the ones that I've got, they don't have sparkle in it, but they do have quite a bit of gloss to them. They're not as glossy as those YSL, I think they were called the Candy Glaze lipsticks that came out earlier this year. They're nothing like that, but they do have 
uh, satin shine to them they do feel really lovely on the lips and I've worn these and just changed the colors around nearly every day since I got them and I think the formula is really really lovely and all the makeup that I'm wearing today apart from what I put on my eyebrows and the powder under my eyes and face but everything else is Bobbi Brown as well and that will be listed and linked in the description box below. So what I'm going to do is swatch all of these lipsticks on my arm so you can take a look and then apart from the one that I'm wearing at the moment which is Pink Nude I will try them all on as well so you can take a look. Now I have pulled out some lipsticks from my collection just to do some comparisons but I do know that Lexi Jong and also Jennifer from Just Glow Firefly they are also picking up these Bobbi Brown lipsticks and both of them do just amazing comparisons with the very huge lipstick collections that they have. So I'm going to link those channels in my description box below as well and I imagine that those videos will probably be up in the next two or three days and I imagine that they'll have some different shades to what I've picked up as well since there are so many in this new release. So I'll start swatching with Pink Nude. This is the one that I'm wearing at the moment and this is number 308. Now that's just with one swipe and that was very little and you can see there's quite a lot of opacity already. So I'll just go over it one more time and that is plenty. These, as you can see from the swatch, they are really creamy, but they are very comfortable on the lips. They're a really lovely lipstick. So the next shade that I will swatch, this one is called Pink Buff, and this is number 312. Really just one swipe is enough. I will go over again just to show you, but one swipe is plenty. Next is Almost Bare, and this is number 300. Now, I don't take the bullets up very far because I do have a feeling they are quite soft and it is starting to get a bit warmer here. Now, it's springtime here in New Zealand and I just don't want to take the bullet up too far. I just worry. I mean, I don't know, but I just worry that they may break off and I've had that issue with some lipsticks before. Next is Neutral Rose, and this is number 315. And then Afternoon Tea, and this is number 64. Soft Berry, and this is number 336. Plaza Peach, 520. Tango, and this is 508. And last is Parisian Red, and this is number 800. So this is Pink Nude, then this is Pink Buff, this is Almost Bear, Neutral Rose, Afternoon Tea, Soft Berry, Plaza Peach, Tango, and Parisian Red. So I don't currently have any Bobbi Brown Luxe lipsticks from the old formula in my collection. I used to wear them a few years ago, and this year I started looking again just to get some everyday shades, but there wasn't much of a selection, and now I know why, because they were bringing out these reformulated ones. But I do have a couple of other Bobbi Brown lipsticks, and these are more in the neutral pink range. So these are the crushed lip colours, and this one is Blondie Pink. So I'll put that one down there so you can take a look. So this is a lot lighter in colour. And then also in the crushed lip colour, I have the shade Blush, which I love. I think it's really lovely. So I'm just going to put that next to this one there. This is a very pale nude lipstick. I really love it. So you can see how pigmented these ones are compared to this formula of the crushed lip colour and I think you can also see from the swatches that the Luxe lipsticks they do look 
well I can see it that they look far more creamy than these I really love these lipsticks though but these are just as they say these are just a bit more luxe to wear so also in the pink range I have a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick here and I love this one this one is called dance floor princess so I'll put that one here and then I have another Charlotte Tilbury one and this one is JK magic so I will put that one down here and then I also have a Tom Ford one here and this one's called bad lieutenant And then another Tom Ford lipstick, and this one is called Blush Nude. You can tell that I really like my pink nude lipsticks. So this here is the Bobbi Brown Luxe Lipstick. This is the Pink Nude. And it is just, it's got a little bit of brown in it more than the other ones that I have. And then I've also got here one of the new Chanel 4 lipsticks, the Rouge Allure ones. And this is number 194, Sensibility. So I'm going to swatch that one down here. And I've also got number 196. This is a Demi Moore. And this has got a little bit more brown in it, this one. And number 211, this is still with the Chanel Rouge Allure ones. And this shade is Subteal. So this shade here, Subteal, is probably more aligned with this one here. And this is the shade Afternoon Tea in the Bobbi Brown. But has a little bit more pink than that shade. So the Chanel shade 211 Subteal, I would say, is more close to this shade here. And this is the shade Pink Buff. And then for the red lipsticks, I do have this YSL one. And on the bottom, it just says 21, and it says Rouge Pur Couture. But this has been around quite a while, so I thought this may be a shade that some of you would have. So I'm going to put that under here. So this is definitely what I think is more of a blue red than the Bobbi Brown Parisian red here. Then we've got Dior and this is 999. So I will put that here. So that's probably a bit closer to the Bobbi Brown than this one, than the YSL. And then lastly for the reds, I have a Lisa Eldridge one, and this one is the Velvet Ribbon. So I will put that under here. So quite a bit different to the Parisian red. And I've also got a Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom lipstick, and this is number 128. And this is in the shade Magic. So I'll put that down here. So that's just a few of the lipsticks, just to compare with the one that I've got on, which is Pink Nude, and also the other Bobbi Brown one, the one Pink Buff, and also that beautiful red one, the Parisian Red. But like I was saying earlier in the video, I know that Lexi Zhang will be picking up quite a few. I don't know how many. She usually picks up quite a few lipsticks when collections come out. And also Jen from Just Glow Firefly. So definitely check those videos out. They'll probably have other shades than what I've got. And I'm sure they will also do some comparisons as well. Now I'm going to try all of these lipsticks on, apart from the one that I'm wearing now, which is Pink Nude. So I'm just going to remove this one, and we will start with the shade Pink Buff. So this is Pink Buff. The 
then we have almost bare. Neutral rose. Afternoon tea. Plaza Peach. And then finally we have Parisian Red. So you can see from the swatches that I did on my arm and also while putting the lipstick on, these are fairly opaque and I just went on very lightly and just one, maybe two swipes and this is the coverage that you get. So I think that these are really richly pigmented. You can see that there is a bit of a shine on there. There's definitely like a satin gloss. As I was saying earlier, these feel really comfortable on the lips. Now, these aren't a velvet or a matte lipstick, but as I was saying earlier, I do find that even once the initial high shine gloss has gone, it does leave a stain and it lasts for a good, I would say with me, lipsticks don't tend to last very long with me, but for me, I would say I would get at least four to six hours before I have to start reapplying them again. Now these lipsticks are also quite hard to get off because in the room here I do have makeup wipes and after the first one I went to take it off with that and it was going to take too long so I ended up going to the bathroom and getting my eye makeup remover and some cotton pads here and removing it that way just so I could take off each lipstick quite quickly before putting on the next one. So that sort of shows you the pigment that they have and also the stain that they leave as well because I was feeling with the makeup wipes I'm still leaving a bit of a stain and then you wouldn't be able to get to see the true colour of each lipstick as I was putting them on. So I think that the formula of these lipsticks is really beautiful and from what I can remember with the Lux lipsticks that I used to own a few years ago and I did have quite a few of them, they were a lovely formula too. But these are just a step up with those extra skincare ingredients with the wax and the different oils in it. They really do feel luxurious and really comfortable on the lips. Really beautiful lipsticks. I did forget to mention the price of these lipsticks and these are 40 US dollars each and in New Zealand they retail for 64 dollars. So for once the price difference isn't too bad. I really love these lipsticks. Not every shade is a shade that I would wear every day, especially this one. This one is more bold, but I love the color of this Parisian red. I think it's really beautiful. I love the other nude tones. I think they're really beautiful, especially the two that have the more pink in them, like the pink nude and the pink buff. If there's some that I feel that I'm not reaching for enough, then what I'll do is I'll probably just hand them on to my sister-in-law. She will absolutely 
absolutely love them but I love the formula of these I am thrilled that I picked them up I think that they are absolutely beautiful so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time bye